Okay, in this project here, I have somewhat of a Don Smith arrangement here. I have a 20 watt microwave oven lamp to light, and I have a gutted CFL a compass to measure the magnetic flux north to south. And a little file here to go across um, the step down. This is L1, this is L2. This is a TV transformer on the high voltage side, TV. I have about 11 lines on each side and the center tap is going to positive here. I even used the uh, current transformer to lower the current down, but it doesn't make any difference. I also have some series caps here, some series caps here, but the one I use, I'm using are series, they're in parallel with L1, and they go all the way across, these go all the way across L1. I have a center tap here on the L2 coil that uh, goes to the lamp, and one end of the L2 coil goes to the lamp. When I turn it on, that's the maximum I get. If I extend the spark gap, it's got to be adjusted. There's proof that you have to adjust the spark gap. That's pretty loud, too. So I'm putting it back. The closer I go in on the spark gap, the brighter the lamp gets. Yeah, let's see how close I can get here. It's cold in here. It's only about 20 degrees. Yeah, so that's what I get with a row of caps like this. And I went and I s tapped off the caps in each section, and I can't get it any brighter than it goes. But this lamp is not even half lit. If I use 24 volts on the system, it goes really bright. Of course, then you're using 24 volts. And my uh, ZVS circuit here, I have one resistor that gets a little warm. It goes from uh, gate to drain or something like that. I forget, but uh, there's one on each transistor. I don't have a whole bunch of Zener diodes on here and all that other stuff. And it runs pretty cool, even when I run it for a long time. So you can see the uh, there's no magnetic field whatsoever. North is about that way. There's no change at all. But I I do use a ferrite in there. It does change it. Let's see if it'll change it a little bit. Yeah, when I go in there, it's a little better. And when I pull it out, that's not good. So the ferrite is working on this one. I'm going to stop it here because then I'm going to change over to the CFL lamp. Let's see how that. I, even, I have not tested it yet, but I want to see if it gets any brighter from the circuitry that I got hooked up here. So.